I just loved the interiors of that house and the set design. Can you, where is that house? And I just loved it so much. <laughs> Yeah, well, we really struggled. I, when I wrote the film, I naively thought, you know, that it's easy to go out and find sort of semi-derelict houses in London, which is undergoing one of the worst kind of property, um, uh, la you know, where there's a lack of housing in London. So, you know, uh, I was like, it'll be easy to find an empty house. Of course, it's really not, you know. So yeah. we used uh, locations, we had runners, we had, we flyered, we looked everywhere. Um, and then eventually somebody gave me a tip and they said, look, just look on a kind of property search engine and just type in some keywords. And I typed in like semi derelict, old, like spooky. I don't know. And, um, and some properties came up and a couple had bought recently exchanged on a house that had mm -hmm. not been touched at all since the 50s. Uh, so it's a beautiful Victorian or Edwardian massive house, but its interiors were completely, completely untouched. It was perfect. And so our amazing production designer, you know, she really, you know, she changed the colors of the walls. You know, we did a certain amount of, um, you know, uh, curtains and voils. You know, the attic was a set, actually. That was um, a complete uh, build. But, you know, the interior of the house was, was something that we augmented, but was sort of largely there um and i you know and i was really lucky because it was an amazing space to work in and it was also a very um you know it was a, it was a very inspiring place because there wasn't there was no there was literally no uh, escape from it 